from the department of marine biotechnology and here i am giving standing before you to present the video lecture on biomolecules so this is the introduction uh, in this topic we are going to discuss about the biomolecules and what are the class, uh, basic classification on uh, biomolecules and more uh, deep uh, more deeper in understanding about the macromolecules on such as proteins lipids carbohydrates and nucleic acids we will discuss about all these types structures and functions of these macromolecules coming to the introduction biomolecules these biomolecules are li uh, mostly located on all our uh, body this life in, life on earth is based on the carbon compounds which is uh, which is called as biomolecules the biomolecules are otherwise called as biological molecules it is a, they are loosely used to term for molecules and ions present inside the that are essential to one of the one or more typically biologically processes and all the metabolic process also such as cell division morphogenesis and development these biomolecules are generally classified into two types one as micromolecules and other is macromolecules these macromolecules are we are helpful for mo most of our day to day daily activities such as uh, metabolic process these micro micromolecules they are very small size they are low molecular weight between 18 to 800 daltons found in the acid soluble pool for example these are minerals gases water sugars and amino acids and nucleotides are common at the mineral uh, micromolecules for as macromolecules they are large sized and high molecular weight then above 10000 daltons and found in the acid insoluble pool these are present in the uh, acid insoluble pool the examples for these macromolecules are carbohydrates proteins lipids and carbo uh, lip nucleic acids here is a short description of the pro, uh, macromolecules uh, what is what are, how is they made up of and what are their functions their proteins proteins are long chain of uh, fatty acids made up of 20 chain of amino acids and they are mostly made up of the building block of uh, cell they are made up of most of the structure and function of the living things they are properly made are called as uh, blocks of cells uh, next is nucleic acids they are long and short chains of uh, amino long and short chains of nucleic acids formed in the atp and gtp uh, their function is to information of carrying the carrying as the messenger from one generation to next generation that is called as dna and rna they have a main functions on the structure and enzymes and their energy transfers the next lipid lipid is uh, made up of the uh, they are um, phosphate they are made up of phosphate or phosphodiester bonds mostly they are head with hydro uh, hydrophobic tail and are hydrocarbon tail these uh, their function is to energy storage insulation and cushioning membranes they the next is carbohydrates carbohydrates are long and short chains of sugar molecules so example is glucose and fructose their functions are made are called as energy source energy st uh, storage and uh, and they are making up of a proper structure the next one is the small molecules or micromolecules these micromolecules these uh, small molecules various molecules such as hormones vitamins and neurotransmitters and porphyrins they are mostly uh, send their function is mostly sending the signals next we can uh, explain about these proteins proteins are we every everyone know about this proteins play an important role in our day to day daily life they were giving a proper uh, building blocks uh, they are called as building blocks of uh, uh, cells they are mostly abundant on organic molecules of any living system they form about the 50% of the dry weight of the cell they are most important for the architecture and architecture and functioning of the cell so they can give you a definite shape and the perfection of the body the proteins are the polymers of amino acids their proteins are complete hydrolysis yields amino acids if we completely hydrolyze the proteins they will uh, uh, result into the amino acids there are 20 standard amino acids present which are repeatedly found in the uh, structure of the proteins it can be any animal plant or animal plant or any microbial uh, protein collagen is the most abundant protein and rubisco is the abundant protein, protein in the plant cells the protein synthesis is mostly controlled by the dna then coming to the structure of the proteins there are basically these proteins are classified into four types 
they are called as primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structures. Primary structure is a very simple structure, the, they refer to the number and linear sequence of the amino acids and polypeptide chains and the uh, location of the disulfide bridges. They seem to be a very um, a long chain of uh, amino acids. The primary sector is responsible for the, the primary sector is responsible for the function of the protein. For giving any function this primary sector is responsible. The N terminal amino acid is written on the left side whereas the uh, C terminal is amino acid is present on the right side. Uh, this is second structure. The folding of the linear chain into a specific coil uh, structure is called as a secondary structure. This secondary structure plays an important function. Uh, there are uh, three types of three types are there alpha helix, beta pleated sheets and uh, collagen helix. These alpha helix are in a helical structure, they present in a singular form, single form. then the beta pleated sheets are uh, seem to be in a ladder shape, they are in a pleated form, then the collagen helix is a uh, collateral one, it is a mixture of all mixture, it is a mixture in content. Next is tertiary structure, tertiary structure this is a complicated structure. This helical polypeptide chain found more, more mostly found upon the uh, fold upon itself and it assume a complex complex structure but in the spherical form. A spherical a rod like or something in uh, in between the shape. You can found the shape in the secondary structure uh, in the tertiary structure is here. Then in the, these geometrical shapes are known as the tertiary structure. These have a the three dimensional structures. The next one is quaternary structure. Proteins are said to be the quaternary in structures if they have two or more polypeptide chains. If they if they are protein which consists of two or more polypeptide chains, they are called as the uh, quaternary in structures. For the perfect example is the hemoglobin is an excellent example for this. The next protein uh, functions, we can discuss about the functions of the proteins and chemical nature and solubility and how it, uh, what is the nutritional importance of the proteins. These are the functional classification of the proteins based on their functions, the proteins have various types of functions. It has the structural proteins example keratin and collagen which is responsible for our hair and our nails. Then enzymatic protein this uh, exam perfect example is the pepsin. Transport proteins hemoglobin where does this uh, hemoglobin is the blood, blood circulation where does it uh, located from all over the body, where, where it is carrying the uh, iron content from uh, over all over the body. The hormonal proteins the best example is uh, uh, insulin and the growth hormone or is the main example for this. Then contractile proteins, these proteins are responsible for the contraction of the muscles. Contraction of the muscles, the example is the atenin myosin. These things we can uh, see in our uh, the bodybuilders uh, and all, uh, all the other muscular movements. The storage proteins, example is ovo albumin. For this it carries the, uh, it carries the storage from, uh, from one cell to the another cell. The genetic proteins, example they are called as nuclear proteins. Then defense proteins, immunoglobulins, they are they responsible for the acting against uh, against for the antigens. So the acting against the de de uh, defense uh, defense molecules. The receptor proteins, they are uh, example good example for this is our hormones and viruses. Ba based on the chemical nature and solubility, these proteins are classified into three types: simple proteins, conjugated proteins, and derived proteins. These simple proteins consist of two types: globular protein and fibrous protein. Under this globular albumin, globulin, and uh, histones will be uh, coming there. Then fibrous collagen, keratin and uh, elastin is come under the fibrous proteins. Proteins, the next is conjugated proteins which is a somewhat complicated proteins. These nuclear proteins, glycol proteins, mycoproteins, nuclear proteins and phosphoproteins are come under these conjugated proteins. These derived proteins are again classified into two types, uh, primary and secondary proteins. Primary proteins are classified into uh, coagulated proteins and the proteins and metaproteins where this uh, carries the metal, metal low enzymes. Then secondary and secondary proteins, proteos and proteo protons and peptides. Next we are going to discuss about the lipids. Lipids are the chief concentrated storage of any cell. They act as the fuel reserve of the body. The, the storage form of energy forming inside the body and it consists of the 3.5 percent of the cell content. These lipids are the organic substances and are relatively insoluble in water but soluble in the organic solvents. For example, alcohol and ether. Then functions, the main function is acting as a fuel reserve of the body. The lipids are the constituents of the membrane structure and regulate the membrane permeability. They serve as a source of the fat soluble vitamins, they serve as a fat soluble vitamins, they are soluble only under the fat, uh, fat molecule. The lipids are important cellular and metabolic regulators. This lipids protect the internal organs and insulating membranes. As insulating materials means it will be insulations for the nerve, uh, nerve connections. These lipids are class, again classified into three types, simple, complex and derived. Simple is otherwise called as fats and oils and it can again this waxes are coming under the simple lipids. Complex lipids, phospholipids, glycolipids and lipoproteins, derived lipids, steroids and terpenes, we will discuss about this in the next slide. Simple lipids, simple lipids they are the esters of fatty acids with alcohol, there are of two types, simple lipids are neutral uh, true fats, 
for example esters of fatty acids with glycerol it is made up of the glycerol and waxes esters of fatty acids with glycerol uh, with alcohol other than the glycerol neutral and true fats these true fats are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen but oxygen is very less in this content a fat molecule is made up of two components and uh, glycerol and fatty acids fatty acids one to three molecule it is made up of long chain of di uh, different long chain fatty acids glycerol a glycerol molecule has three carbon each bearing a single bond oh group you, you can find the structure of the uh, glycerol it consists of a long chain uh, long chain long branch chain fatty acids it consists of three carbon chain and uh, uh, three carbons and each bearing a single bond oh group in this fatty acids a fatty acid molecule is an unbranched chain of uh, carbon atoms it has a single bond c double uh, oh group at one end and a h bonded at uh, almost at the carbon atoms these fatty acids may be saturated or unsaturated these fatty acids may be uh, saturated or you can find the structure, structural resemblance in the, in the, the neighbor slide. Waxes, waxes are lipids which are long chain saturated fatty acids uh, and a long chain of saturated alcohol I, alcohol I molecular weight and other than the glycerol. Example, bees wax, it is secre secretion of the abdominal glands of the worker honeybees. You can find these, these are example, perfect example for this lipids, waxes. Then lanolin or wool fat, a secretion of the cutaneous gland of uh, obtaining from the uh, wool of the ship. These wool of the ships are uh, called as the lanolin or wool fat. The sebum, secretion of the sebaceous glands are from our skin, over homo, from our own skin. This is called as a sebum. And serum in the soft and brownish waxy material which is produced from our ear, ear lobes and it is called uh, ex uh, for a perfectly they are called as external and auditory canal and they are called as a ear wax also. Then next is plant wax. These are the coating formed on the plant organs to prevent the uh, transpiration. These are usual, these are responsible for the transpiration process for uh, photo in the process of photosynthesis. Then paraffin wax, a translucent waxy substance obtained from the petroleum. The complex lipids, they are derivatives, uh, de they are derivatives of simple lipids having uh, additional groups like phosphate, nitrogen base and protein etc. They are further divided into phospholipids, glycolipids and lipoproteins. This is the phospholipid structure. They are made up of a molecule of glycerol or other alcohol having a phosphate group of one uh, of its single OH groups and two fatty acid molecules at other two single bond OH groups, a nitrogen containing uh, base attached to the phosphate group, a phospholipid molecule has a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophobic tail. Glycolipid, they are components of cell membranes particularly myelin sheath and chloroplast membranes and uh, they are cerebroside are the most simple, simplest, form of the, simplest form of the glycolipids. This is the structural, form, structural of the glycolipid. Lipoprotein, they contain lipids and proteins in, uh, in their molecules. They are mainly consists of the, the membranes. They are found in the milk and yolk milk. Uh, egg, egg yolk, uh, lipids are transported in the blood and lipo, uh, lipoproteins. These five types of lipoproteins are called as chylomicrons and VLDL which is present in the, our daily uh, oils and LDL and HDL. These are called as very low density lipids and uh, low density lipids and high density lipids. This free fatty acid albumin complex also present in the lipoprotein. Derived lipids, they are, deri they are derivatives obtained on the hydrolysis of the simple and complex lipids. For example, is steroids, terpenes and terpenoids and prostaglandins. This steroid is, this is a steroid structure. Um, the steroids do not, the steroids do not contain fatty acids but are included in the lipids. They have the fat like properties. Uh, they are made up of four fused carbon rings, um, cholesterol, vitamin D and testosterone and adrenocortical hormones. The most common steroids are sterols. The common sterols are called as cholesterol and ergosterol. The next is terpenes. The terpenes are the major component of the essential oils and produced by the plants. These are mostly pre present only on the plants. These are responsible for giving the fragrance to the plants. Uh, the vitamins A, E and K are contain, uh, contain the terpenoid called uh, phytol. This carotenoid pigment is uh, in the precursor of the, for the vitamin A. Lycopene is a pigment present in the tomatoes is a terpenoid. And gibberellins, the plant hormone is also a terpene. These are some of the example for this, this carotenoid, lycopene and gibberellins are some of the example for the terpenes. These are the functions of the lipids. These lipids as we discussed earlier, lipids are organic compounds found in every type of plant cells and animal cells. They contain the elements of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen uh, but less than the, uh, the uh, comparing with other molecules, oxygen is very less than the uh, carbohydrates. All lipids are insoluble in water and uh, lipids have many important functions such as uh, in, in cell membraneing of structures and uh, hormones and energy storage molecules as it does store energy storage molecules uh, exactly it is uh, protecting as the fuel reserve of the body when it is in need it will be served as a fuel reserve. This then next is thermal insulation 
the whenever this uh, insulation property is needed this thermal insulation property is made up of lipids then this mechanical protection when it is uh, bind with another cells this gives us a mechanical protection when it is move against to the cell cell membranes then electrical insulation of the nerves then next it is acting as a waterproofing and the buoyancy that for maintaining the uh, water level uh, in our body carbohydrate the next uh, big biggest topic is called uh, carbohydrates which we uh, we are taking daily in uh, various forms such as rice and wheat and uh, rice and wheat what is this carbohydrates are uh, uh, they are called an organic compound our biomolecule because it contains the carbon hydrogen and oxygen the sugar molecules which are carbohydrate based compounds provide living things with energy and act as a substances used as used for the structures this is the structural this is the structural form of the carbohydrates a biomolecule composed of the carbon hydrogen and oxygen it consists of the ch2oh molecule this is a perfect uh, the molecular formula is c6h12o6 of the molecular formula of the carbohydrates glucose is a perfect uh, one of the well known uh, example for a carbohydrates next is the types of carbohydrates this carbohydrates also classified into various types this classification based on the number of the sugar molecules and sugar molecules in the total unit chain the monosaccharide disaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharide this monosaccharide consists of a single sugar unit disaccharide as its name consists of two so two sugar units oligosaccharide is consists of two to 10 sugar unit molecules <coughs> polysaccharides it consists of more than 10 units chaining relies on the bridging of oxygen atoms uh, perfect example is the glycoside bonds now we can a uh, deep explanation uh, examples for the uh, carbohydrates monosaccharide which consists of one sugar molecules which consists of one sugar molecule it consists of three types glucose fructose and galactose then disaccharides it consists of the major three types of molecules called as sucrose lactose and maltose it consists of two sugar molecules then next nice oligosaccharides which consists of two to ten sugar molecules for a perfect example is raffinose and stachyose then next is polysaccharides which consists of ten or more sugar molecules uh, examples are starch glycogen and cellulose the three, three types of carbohydrates as we discuss this again we have to discuss uh, these are some of the foods we are taking daily uh, monosaccharide uh, simple sugar form uh, usually it consists of uh, fruit grapes fructose in the form of honey and fruits then galactose which mil when milk is digested then it changes to the galactose then next is disaccharide disaccharide uh, perfect example is sugar cane for sucrose maltose for cereals which we are taking in the daily form of dal and uh, lactose uh, which consists of milk uh, then polysaccharide uh, complex this is complex molecules the here the fruits veggies and cereals consists of starch then dextrin it formed from the starch when bread is toasted if you find a, when bread is toasted this dextrin is formed in the form of polysaccharide pectin it present mostly present in all the fruits especially on apples and citrus fruits also known as a hemicellulose molecules the cellulose fiber in plants when all the plant molecules in all the plants whatever we are having they consist of cellulose then glycogen glucose stored in the liver and muscles these are the only uh, only uh, complex molecules present inside our body itself they are present in the liver and muscles there are various types of functions of carbohydrates here we can list out only the mainly five types of functions this carbohydrates are the main sources of energy in the body from the brain cells and the rbc are almost wholly dependent on the carbohydrates whereas without ca carbohydrates the functions of brain cells and rbc is uh, completely uh, absent the energy production from the carbohydrates will be 4 kilo calorie per gram then storage form of energy is called as starch and glycogen when excess carbohydrate is uh, the excess carbohydrate is converted to fat whenever the carbohydrate which is not turned uh, which is not utilized by our uh, ourselves it will be turned to fat which will be taken for the uh, future use then glycoproteins and glycolipids are components of cell membranes and the receptors one of the next molecule is called uh, nucleotides uh, they consist of nitrogenous bases and pentose sugar and phosphate groups. This nitrogenous bases consist of purines and primidines and pentose sugar consists of ribose and deoxyribose sugar. These nucleic acids are polymer made up of uh, monomers, uh, they are called as nucleotides. It contains of carbon, nitrogen and oxygen and other nitrogen and phosphorus also. Whereas, it is, whereas this nitrogen and phosphorus are absent in the uh, previous molecules such as carbohydrates, these uh, the <coughs> nitrogen and phosphorus present in the nucleic acids their main function is to storage and the transfer of the genetic information from one generation to the next generation they consist of two types deoxyribonucleic acid which is called as dna and ribonucleic acid is called as rna this is a structural form of rna and dna 
Aranesia uh, single helical structure, uh, it consists of cytosine, guanine, adenine and uracil. They consist of all the nuclear bases of uh, RNA. Whereas DNA is a double helical structure, it consists of cytosine, guanine, adenine and thymine. The main difference between the DNA and RNA, the, uh, DNA is a double helical structure, RNA is a single helical structure. This uh, uracil is present in only in RNA which is not present in the DNA. Before uh, to understand the functions of nucleotides, we have to understand about the nucleotide biosynthesis. This nucleotide biosynthesis is purines and primidines. This purines and primidines are two classes of uh, nucleotides in the cells. The primary functions of nucleotides act as the building blocks of DNA and RNA. This purines consist of two types, they are adenine and guanine. Then primidines, three types, thymine, cytosine and uracil. Apart from their role, genetic information storage, the main information, main function of these uh, molecules are genetic information storage. Nucleotides also serves as the different functions uh, cells such as energy carrier, and components of coenzymes then signal transduction from one molecule to another molecule. These are the structural, uh, structural these are the structures of primi uh, primidines, purines and uh, deoxyribonucleic acid and uh, ribose nucleic acids. This is DNA structure, it consists of a double helical structure, it consists of uh, two, sing two double, double standard molecules, DNA consists of two strips made up of sugars and phosphates and twisted around each other and uh, nitrogen bases looks like a spiral molecule, it, it usually consists of a sugar, sugar phosphate backbone and consists of base pairs, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. This is the chemical structure of the DNA, in this we consist of adenine, thymine, you can find the adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine molecules here, mostly these are uh, found in the backbone of the sugar phosphate molecule. This uh, DNA is a double standard of polynucleotides, the, the sugar phosphate backbone is on the outside and the bases are on the inside. Here the stand is held together by the, by the hydrogen bonds between the bases, uh, uh, adenine only pairs with thymine, guanine only pairs with cytosine, this is called the complementary base pairing, it will not be changed from the uh, one another molecule, whereas the uh, adenine A only pairs with T and G only pairs with C. The two strands run in the opposite direction, this is called the anti-parallel, the two strands also uh, passing over the, uh, pa like anti-parallel wise it will be moving on the opposite directions. DNA twists into a double helical double helix held by the mostly by more hydrogen bonds. The main function of the DNA is called as uh, genetic information storage, not only the genetic information, it carries how to build, how to grow and operate and repair the cells of our body and specifically how and when to make proteins. Pass from one cell generation to the next helicals, next, next generation, from one cell to the next cell within an individual and pass from the parent to the child, this is the only DNA, uh, this is the uh, heli DNA ca carrying the genetic information from one generation to the next generation. How is the structure of the DNA related to its function? The sequence of bases acts as a information storage in the form of uh, codes to build proteins. These molecules are long to store more information. The base pairing means the complementary stands of the information sequences present inside the DNA and it can be replicated also. The double helix gives to the molecule stability. The hydrogen bonds allows for easy and unzipping for copying and uh, reading the information from the uh, uh, reading the messages from the DNA. RNA, this is the RNA structure, it consists of a singular uh, single helical structure and uh, structurally similar to the DNA, but there are a few differences primarily in their chemicals, chemical bases. The mainly they are called as cytosine, guanine, adenine, which is the common, chemi common uh, chemicals uh, present inside the <coughs> DNA and RNA. Whereas this uracil is present uh, present only in the RNA, where it is absent in the DNA. Ribonucleic acid, ribonucleic acid or RNA is one of the major micro major micro major biological membrane uh, that are uh, essential for all known forms of life. Whereas the DNA and proteins, each nucleotide in RNA contains a ribose sugar with uh, carbons numbered one to five dash. Uh, a base is attached to the uh, single single portion general, adenine, cytosine, guanine and uracil are present inside in the RNA. The structure of RNA is backbone of the sugar in the phosphate group, then nitrogen base is linked to sugar mostly project form and the backbone, nitrogen base are linked to the pentose sugar uh, through, throughout the nitrogen glucoside bonds linkage to form a nucleoside, a phosphate group is linked with the three single bond OH group of nucleoside and uh, through phosphate linkage. Two nucleotides are linked through the three single dash to five, five dash passport ISR bonds uh, linkage form a dinucleotide. There are three, three different types of RNA are present. The functions of the three different RNA are mRNA, tRNA and rRNA. 
the mRNA is called as messenger RNA, tRNA is called as transport RNA and rRNA is called as ribosomal RNA. This carries a genetic mRNA which is called as messenger RNA, it carries a genetic information of DNA for protein synthesis from nucleoside, nucleus to ribosome from the form of genetic code. Whereas the tRNA, it acts as an adapter molecule and carries the amino acid and uh, drops it to the particular location by recognizing the codon on mRNA by virtue of having a uh, anticodon. rRNA, it, uh, it makes the complex with proteins with ribosomal subunits and which provide a space for the protein synthesis and single ribosomal RNA of uh, smaller subunit helps cor uh, correct orientation of the mRNA during attachment with the respect of the uh, P and A, A sites. From this we can understand about the biomolecules and what are the major classifications of uh, micromolecules and macromolecules. We discuss here about the macromolecule structures, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and the nucleotides which consists of DNA and RNA and their own functions, their stru stru types, structures and their functions also. Thank you.